Okay, and then I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start it up right now, live on camera. Oh my God, those are so cute. And the, all the artists just adorable on us. Hello, internet. We are live. Good evening. We're alive. We also are alive, though we're pretty tired. Steve and I started this morning at 5 a.m. New York time, which Oof. is 2 a.m. this time. Oof. So we're a little tired. But <laughs> the cat is also very excited we exist. Yeah, I know. I noticed that. Um, the cat. We have white cushions on the chairs. You can't see that. You and the cat. Cats. Yeah. <laughs> the cat. We, we know which chair the cat slept on while we were coming. Um, <laughs> you yes. don't want a cat hair, bud? <laughs> you don't want a cat hair? You don't want to bond with your kitty? Yeah, it's a transfer of hair. Yeah, where were you all week? I wonder. Um, so welcome to tonight's stream. We are playing Harvest Island, designed by Shi Fun Chin, I think. I'm really sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, Shi Fun Chin, I'm guessing. But it's from Big Fun Games and the Taiwanese um, Taiwanese board board game designer group. I forget what the acronym is. It's just TBD. TBD for me. Um, but Harvest Island is releasing at Essen this year, and it's just pretty, yo. It's gorgeous. It's it is very, very pretty. pretty. It's very pretty, and it is the perfect game for a day like today when we are tired and we just want a nice, chilling hi, cat. <laughs> <laughs> Relaxing game. Um, so, Abby's like, and try to get down, Ishii. Um, Abby is aggressively trying to pet herself with my hand. Um, whoops, that was not the right thing to flip. So, yeah, there we go. I can flip the table. <sighs> How are you doing, Mike? I'm doing. Oh, <laughs> oh hello, that's the dog. <laughs> Try it. I'm trying to remember. I do it so it's yeah. There we go. Oh. There we go. Hi, everybody's everybody's just draped on me. Okay. Um, we're gonna need to fix the overhead cam. But we um we had a, a house sitter and we cleaned up the house so our like normal stream setup wasn't quite set up. So bear with me here. Okay, there we go. Um, hello, and we're joined by John. Because it's Tuesday. Hello. Which I keep forgetting. John's about. day. John's day. <laughs> so Harvest Island, the story is, is that there's an island, and it is a magical island where there are um, three different terrains, and we each have one of them, one of each. So there's the plains, the hills, and the mountains. Um, and this magical island that has these three different areas um, grows all sorts of amazing fruit and it grows all sorts of amazing fruit annually like all all through the year there's there's not really an off season like some fruit might not grow some seasons but for the most part like everything thrives so um we are trying to basically grow and harvest the most fruit and the fruit that we acquire and harvest is worth different point values depending on the season um, which is uh, handy dandily laid out for us on this central board, which will also kind of serve as like a little bit of a point tracker and a market because there are bonus point um, markers, harvesters, that we can acquire for being the person to have um, harvested the most quantity of a fruit in a single go. So sort of like Longest Road of Catan, but it's like you could, you could harvest a bunch of bananas across multiple rounds, but you want to stock it up and do like one harvest with a ton of bananas mm. because that's how you're going to get and secure the harvest marker. And the harvest marker, each fruit, there's 12 fruits, um, has an animal associated with it, which is the harvester of that fruit. And the art is just super cute. Um, but they're on the cards, which is better to show off than the markers. So we're not going to, not going to stress and show you the markers. Um, but there are these cute little punch outs, the only punch outs in the game, in fact, that are the fruit. Oh, it's overwashed. But yeah, and then you have the harvesters on these plastic stands. So they stand up, so it makes it easy to see who <clears throat> currently has the harvester of a certain fruit type. 
So. Uh, so if you get over, okay. Yeah. If you if you sell at least four, you get to move. We're just gonna do this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but then yeah. the, then the next person would be in five. Exactly. Take it from yeah. There. Yep. If you get eight, then no one else has to get moved. Or is that? Uh, well, I believe so. So there's there's. There's a little bit of an English translation question in the rules for me in regards to that because um, it says in the rules that um, if the sum is greater than the number on the fruit harvester, you do it. Oh. But in the example, they move it to a five and then they say the now minimum requirement for earning the medal is five. Which implies equal to. Yeah. So I feel like the rules text is correct and the example is incorrect, which means that it has to be strictly greater than. So that yeah. mean you would need to get five then to get there? Hey, nutters! Yeah, this is not YouTube. It is Twitch that you are on. But it seems like nobody's hanging out in the YouTube chat. So, yeah. yeah a little weird. Don't know if YouTube's not working. But there you go. Um, what were you going to ask? What did you ask? I missed it. So if it's here, you need to harvest four to get there. Yes. And then that those mountain apples move there. Yeah. So there has to be and at then, least four fruit. So then the next person would have to get five. Yeah. So that I think it's sense. strictly greater yeah. than yeah. So um, we each have these three regions, which we're going to lay out. These are basically our fields. At the bottom of the field is a quantity of cards that can be planted, like hmm. plants or fruit that are harvesting. You don't see it live on YouTube. Interesting. We're doing to both, so who knows? Oh, weird. I sent yeah. the link out. I tweeted a link. Very interesting. What was that? Okay, That's... it's live on your channel. It's just not... Uh, so is there a couple people though. watching? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Oh, I forgot to hit the notification button today. That's why. Ah. I set it up while we were at the airport, so. Yeah. Anyway, um, we have three fields. Um, in the bottom corner of the field, it says the max number of um, cards that can be planted in that field. The planes can have unlimited. That's an infinity symbol. Mm. The hills can have max six cards, and then the mountains can have max four. So we are going to start, we're going to go through all four seasons. So we're going to do winter, we're going to start in spring, summer, fall, winter. And there's a deck of cards for each. Spring, and summer, depending fall. on the number of players, we actually remove some cards. So for three players, we are going to have all the summer. Are we certain? Remove six fall? Yes, um, but we don't remove any spring. So this is summer. So remove, I pre-shuffled these. So we're going to remove and put six summer back in the box, and then the like, summer deck. Yeah, something no, out. it looks like you use all summer, but then you remove oh. six winter and six fall. Yes. Sorry. I'm tired. Abby, you're going to be in the arcane place. Slide you over. Slide. Oh, but you, you always use all spring. Yeah, you so always yeah. use all spring. Oh, I've got to remove. Yeah. Who do you need about this? I think Kitty just wants love. Yeah. I think Kitty. Kitty is happy we are home. I think everyone is happy we are home. Okay, so we've removed three winter or six winter and six autumn, and then spring. We're each gonna get four cards for spring, which is gonna be our hand. And go ahead and look at your cards. There are two types of cards. There are plant cards, and then there are. Um, weather cards. If you have any weather cards, discard them. Um, and then redraw. No, you're not going to put them there. We're going to shuffle them back in the deck. But oh. you just make sure you all start with weather. So if you have a weather, you draw. Um, you draw back up to four. There we go. Cool. And then we're going to make the first supply area. So we start with two cards. Oh, if we reveal any weather, we put it away. And then we put three into the storage area. I'll explain these. Well, yeah. I, what are all the fruit? There's so many fruit. There's 12 fruits. Yeah. yeah. I know um, some of them, but not all of them. That's dragon fruit. Yeah. 
that's Ramekin? Uh yeah. li lychee, I think. Li well or lychee. Yeah. There's nectarines and peaches. Mango, definitely. I don't it's know what like that is. Yeah. Uh, that's something. I had those in Hawaii. Or they're also called mm -hmm. rose apples. I don't know what they call them here. I don't know. I don't know. Strawberries. They taste like roses. Papaya. Mm. I don't know if I'd like that. I think I want a papaya. I think you you might. Um these are. Okay, so um, I'm gonna shuffle the deck and put the deck back. Cool, all right. So, very simple game. On your turn, you are gonna play. You are going to do one of two things. You can either cultivate or you can harvest. Hello, dog's head. Ooh, it's a flow chart. <laughs> yeah, this is a flow chart. So if you cultivate, you play two cards and you have to play exactly two cards. Um, and so how you play the two cards will depend on what you end up doing. Um, if you play, oh geez, okay, um, if you play a, I'm gonna move, they're like a little, mm, I'm just gonna scoot stuff a little bit so I can get my, yeah. my fields into frame. Okay, cool. This will work. Do your best. That worked. Yeah. Or one, two, no, I can do this. Yeah. Okay. So, just for teaching purposes, this will work. All right, so if I, basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be planting stuff in our fields and then we're harvesting them. So, to plant them, you first have to sow a field. So to sow a field, you have to pick one of your cards and plant a seed to sow. So to sow, you tuck it under like that so you can see the name of the plant that you have sowed, the seed that you have sowed, and then from now on, I can now plant watermelon on this spot because I seed watermelon seeds. So this is a watermelon field, and it can only ever be a watermelon field until I either um, like take it out or harvest it or, yeah. So if I had another watermelon card, my second card action could be to play on top and to plant more, to plant watermelon. You cannot plant unless you have something so. Um, alternatively, if I had a fertilizer card, I could put a fertilizer on top of the watermelon. Zina. Um, and if I did that, I, when I harvest, fertilizer will help with harvesting, which I'll talk about in about a second. But for reasons, I'm actually going to say that I sewed a, a, a tank can. A tan can, which looks like an orange or a tangerine. So I'm gonna say I sewed that, and then we'll talk like future turns. Maybe I planted a couple on top. So when you plant, you put the card on top. When you sew, you tuck it under, and that's all that that field can be. And we'll say I put a fertilizer in there too at some point. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. So that's kind of like what a field is gonna look like. Yeah. Then on a future turn, I can decide instead of playing more cards, I will harvest. So when you harvest, you pick one or more fields and you harvest stuff off of it. When you take cards off, you count the number of cards that you are taking off. And if you have at least four, that's where this comes into play. Mm. So right now, fertilizer counts as two cards. So when you have fertilizer, you have two cards of whatever field that is. Zena, do you need to be let out? I think so. Yeah, can you let out? So in this case, I have three. I have three tankin cards because I count the seed, and then I have a fertilizer. So that means I have a total of five cards, um, which means I have the new highest. So I move the ten can icon to five, and I would win the harvester for the ten can, which at the end of the game is eight points if I have it. Then all of the cards that are on top of the field. I take, fertilizer gets discarded, the other two become points at the end of the game, and I will get the number value on the corner of the card wow. as points, and then the seed that I had used to sow the card with the fertilizer is discarded. Fertilizer just goes back to the fertilizer, and then this is just out of the game. So, that's harvesting. Um, pretty, pretty straightforward. There's two. There's one here. Two up here, so maybe one up here. Yes, one, up, but yeah, I was like, there was a tank in down here. Okay, 
So that's like basically it. The other option that you can do on your turn is you can release cards, which is which is you discard them from your hand. Um, or when you and when you discard them from your hand, you actually put them into what is called the supply. So we have two sections of cards, one that you can actively draw from, and then the other one is like the future draw. So this is the supply, sorry, up top. So when you go to refill your hand, you can draw from the supply, or you can draw from the top of the deck. Um, if the deck runs out for spring, then you draw into summer. Um, otherwise, if the storage area ever hits four or more cards, we discard anything and everything in the supply and move the storage area up. So, yeah. Interesting. Yep. Okay. That's it. Um, weather? Weather. So, when, oh, right. When you release two cards, when you play two cards back to here, um, you can release one card if you want. But if you release two back to the storage area, that's how you get fertilizer. It's the only way to get fertilizer. Um, fertilizer is good for boosting the number of cards that you're... Yep. That's the one thing that's good for. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep. Um, you can never draw directly from the storage area. Um, so yeah, then there's weather. So when a weather card is revealed, you put it in the weather area. So if you ever draw a weather card or if one appears when we're um, doing things, uh, the weather goes here. If there's ever a sun and a rain, we just discard the sun and the rain, uh, like in pairs. And then if there's ever three of a kind, bad weather happens. And what bad weather is, is every player who had, every player looks at their fields and they have to discard half of the cards rounded down in their most populated field. And you have to discard the most valuable cards because certain fruits will be more valuable if they came from certain seasons. So, like, uh, there are seven tampons. So this is card distribution? I think that's card distribution. Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. There's a lot more rain in summer. So, spaceship one. Sounds good. Okay. You okay? Yep, I had a tweet. Okay. I could not find a way to make a huge mini violin. It's all back to the. I have to. I have to turn a button on. But I first do it. Ah, but I mean, I couldn't figure out how to do it after the fact. Yeah, no, you can't. All right, let's do this. All right. Whoever lost a grape goes first. Because that's the designer's favorite fruit. Two weeks ago. When our neighbor had their birthday slash made our puppy party, I guess is what that is. Oh, okay. That was two weeks ago. Was that also two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe a week ago. We can say it was a week ago. Yeah, you win. Okay. okay. Go first. Hey, dog. Uh, I'm going to seed this mango. Seed and some mango on the hills. You get to play two cards. So if you have another mango, you get to and plant then it. I will plant the mango. Ooh, seven mangoes. Wow. Oh, snapsies. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> three draw? Yep. So you draw, nope. Banana and tan can, or the top of the spring pile, which is blind. So you can take from here, or from here. Two. There we go. Will everybody be able to stay awake after being on the East Coast? Nope. Nope. <laughs> not, not at all. I'm on West Coast time. Yeah, John's fine. I'll be fine. It will be a game of attrition. Yes. Yes. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do Tenken in... which is just a tangerine, I think. That's what it looks like. But are there no tangerines in summer? Is that what I'm seeing? That's what it looks like. Uh, it's only in spring. That's uh, not great. Wow. Yeah, but the mango... The art on the little tokens doesn't match the art on the cards. Which makes me sad. It doesn't. Oh, you're right. Yeah, because that's a mango. But that... Oh, there's a little tiny art in the bottom of the card. Mm -hmm. uh, there's art of the icons, 
So you just see. Chelsea yeah, so Tinkin's only in, only in spring. Okay. I will do Tinkin in the fills. Um, and I will go ahead and do. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'll do watermelon in the flames, and then I will take that and I will draw. Oh, you can. Ah, I got it back. You can uh, split your draw. Yes. And do I draw? I do because I always have to end before. Okay. Okay. Cool. That worked out. How many points do you get if you find a cat? Uh, it, you harvest the cat. Oh, that's right, you have to harvest them first. Yeah, you have to harvest them for points. <laughs> cat totally needs that. I'm going yeah. to plant a lychee. Lychee? Lychee. Lychee won't run. Nope. No, no it is not. <laughs> That's a good song. It's a classic. Here's Weather. Just go Sunstein, huh? I think I'll draw and just toss this below that. Yeah, get out of here. Hey, cutie. Can you come in here? Okay. My turn again. Yeah, it's very quick. Yeah. And then what happens Ooh. to those? To those? They stay there okay. until this hits greater than or equal to four. Right, someone has to release their cards to get it up. Yep. Can I play cutie? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna plant a watermelon. Mm-hmm. Um, watermelons. I'm gonna plant another watermelon on top of it. Wow. And then do I guess cutie is my only option. Yep. Yep. Cutie's gotta Oh. gotta give. Someone's gotta give. I you leave the devil and you draw them? Yep. But you have a sun and a oh no, so this would have been discarded because it's sun and rain. So it's out, and then you did a sun and a rain. They're also discarded. So they're also discarded, because they're a pair. Cool. Yep. It's when they have three of a kind. So we're probably going to see rain in this. So rain. keep drawing until you get four. Boom. Okay. Oops. Uh, I'm going to do... Uh, do a tankin here for a planting. And mm -hmm. then I will release a lychee. Yay! Oh, well Thank you. Um, and I will redraw this. And I will redraw this. Okay. I'm going to plant a banana. Banana! And I will, oh, seed a banana, sorry. Mm. I'm going to plant. And then I forget, you, they don't have to be higher or lower. We can just put them on the same field if they're the same type. Mm -hmm. That would be a little muggy. Like, probably, yeah, it would be a muggy. Um, I think I'm just going to plant the two watermelons. Oh. So you apparently found the watermelon. Yeah. Um, six watermelons. And sun. Itchy, itchy. Is easy way to come in? Is that what you're trying to tell us? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and plant. Uh, I'm gonna do a tinkin, and I will do a oh no, uh, a watermelon. Okay. And I will draw. Yes. I'll do a cheese and a banana. I think the banana is in my Oh, yeah. Chickadee, chickadee. Yeah, every, every fruit has an animal. The strawberries have deer. Alright, it's your turn. Oh, wow, that was fast. Oh, yeah, this is a very fast game. It's like a half hour time. Um, Which I is good. We could do uh, a bonus turn. Absolutely yeah. love wow. to drop a mango down. Damn. Damn, dude. Get another eight points. And then uh, I'm going to plant a bunch of 
So and then you buy spring. And then now you get all summer. And all summer. And all summer. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna double plant tank because yeah, why not? Right. Why not? Uh, and then I will draw. So there's no more tank in there mm -hmm. for the rest of the game. Which is crazy. That is crazy. So I supply what that fruit has. Mm -hmm. Yep. I know what it's called. Tank. Tank in. Tank. Tank in. Something. It's something. Yeah, so my turn again. This game is very fast. It's very fast. Um, I'm gonna plant the cheese. And then, do I have to play two cards? You have to play two cards. So if I'm if I'm totally full, which I am, you have to release. So it's still right there. On my hand. Yeah. Any time to play this? Zero. Zero. Oh. I read the rules on the plane. <laughs> so I will just I will release one. Banana. And then draw one. Mm-hmm. Two got two. Uh, uh oh. Oh that's good. So this is card book. Yep. Okay. Then okay. my turn has ended. Okay. Uh I'm going to so, hi. I'm gonna sew mango. Oh, no. no, wait. I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna use this one. Sew some mango, and then I'll plant a mango, and then I will draw. Oh, weather. So we could conceivably see rain, like a weather system thing. On one person's turn, because it could drop fruit from rain. Yes. And it can lose. Oh, dear. Okay, I think I'm going to release a. Giraffe. She's chasing her tail on top of the couch. I'm not sure that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm going to do a dragon fruit. Slash. That's really cool. Yeah. Oh, you're right, boss? That was going. your head. I'll draw a fertilizer. Nice. Oops. There's, there's um, not though. <laughs> there's just so not. much. So much clutter. It's not that much. Um, it's very straightforward. The answer is genius. They have these like dividers that were flat packed, and then you just like tuck them in. Oh, nice. And they're little card yeah. dividers. And it's very cute. A peach. So these all go up. It's very well thought out. And then I can draw one. The, no, either, no, can, yeah. either the bear is tiny, or the peaches are huge. It's a tiny little bear. I like to think the, peach, the peaches are huge. That's with the deer, um, right? Yeah. I'm actually going to pitch a dragon fruit. Okay. So you've pitched then, two, so you get a fertilizer, if you want. And then does it have to go in the nope, fertilizer? No, it goes in your hand. Okay. Does it count for something? Yes. So you draw one more. Yep. You don't have to draw a fertilizer. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't want to. It's a dragon fruit, and there's a dragon uh, on it. I like it. Melon. Fertilizer is silly. Um, I am going to plant a mango and plant another mango. And then I will draw. So I'm in my field in the middle now. Fertilizer. Get rid of the. Oh, 
grappled. You know, I could tell you the role you're trying to find. Pretty sure. What else are you going to do? Are you in the bottom line? I'm going to harvest. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to harvest like everything. So oh, you can harvest multiple things? Yeah, you can oh, do cool. multiple things. Yeah. So I'm going to do the mango, which there are four of. So mango is at four. Then I have, I get the mango. I can only get two of my glasses. So I'm going to have a mango. So, it's the same animal as well. Yeah. But maybe I just forgot which animal it was. Kairos. Mongoose. Mongoose. Okay, there we go. Um, and then I scored the three that were on top and the one on the bottom is discarded. And I'm also going to do the Tinkan, which there are five of. Nice. So I score those and that one gets discarded. And then I get the Tinkan. Four. Um, and then I'm pretty sure Steve's going to destroy the watermelons. So I will score that one, which isn't going to be anything, but my field is free. Cool. So that was my whole turn. I mean, destroy hey, the watermelon is a, is a strong... I, I rip out the... Well, it's, it's... Yeah. It, like, reminds me of Bonanza, but, like, easier. It's chiller. It's prettier. It's way prettier than Bonanza. Harvest my lychee. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So light you with six. Wow. Oh, because of the fertilizer? Yeah. Light you, where are you? The kitty has spots um, with the papaya, and it looks like the kitty just rolled in the papaya seeds. It's very cute. I think that's all I'm going to do. There with the peaches. And There's that love peaches. Peaches for me. The mango with what looks like a badger. I don't think it's looking good for my peaches. So you score the one and then the bottom one that was C. Just gets discarded. You didn't. Yep. Yeah. I'm saying you're not. <laughs> no, no. I, what? Okay, there yeah, you go. that was yeah. <laughs> You're just doing it in a weird way. Yeah, you're doing it in a weird way. Um, yeah. Can you do your watermelons? Or harvest your watermelons? I think we're good. Yeah. Well, but you count that one. So you have five. Oh. So you get the So the cat turns the cards, but you only score four of the cards. Got it. I dropped a card, I'm good. Okay. So I am <laughs> harvest head. Harvest head. And then you get the, the, the watermelon. Or I think the watermelon. What animal is with the watermelon? I think it's a sloth. I don't think that's what kind of fruit that is. I think the sloth's called that. Oh it's a uh, looks like a Paladin? No, what are those called? They're, oh. They can roll up in a ball. Oh, like an armadillo? Kind yeah, of. but they have like that long snout. I'm gonna do this peach. Mm. Yeah, and then I will. Ah! Oh, this is so awful. Okay. Uh, and then I will do this grape. 
guys. This is the kind of thing I would just be very yes. happy if there was an educational almanac included with the game. Oh, for the animals? Yeah. Well, yeah. and the fruits. And the fruit. And, yeah. I'm gonna put that on the Not that that, that needs to happen at all. And then I'll discard this, which releases it. And then I'll go on. There's an interesting thing that just happened because I wanted to release a card so I could get something in the thing, but if I had done it, the peach would have been discarded, and I wanted the peach, so I, I had to like. Banana. I don't think I see that. Is not. there a significance to the? Number? That's how many points at the end of the game for the things you get. So if that's planted. Hand is on the A ring. Oh, there's two. Where are you going, Angela? Next turn. Oh, so it is. It is likely that there will be a catastrophe. Yep. Which I'm fine right now, because hey, hey. you can't discard the stone. Oh, yay! Okay, so Steve caused rain. And I don't do that in the last draw right now. Yes, you pause the game immediately. So, you are most lucrative. The field that has the most, you discard half, Ooh. round it down, and the most valuable card gets pressed in. So, yeah. And I have Ooh, no cards, because so you seven. can't. So my mangoes just got rained out. Yeah. And my seeds don't get lost, so. Pingolin. Pingolin. Oh, that is adorable. I'm gonna do yeah. my play uh, peach so there, and then I will release this. Does the ring go away? Oh yeah, the ring's fine. Goodbye. And then I will release this mango because it's useless. Do they have to go back to the same deck? It doesn't. We'll out. figure it out later. We'll figure it out. Oh. The plants. Dragon fruit. Steve turn. Sunshine. Yay. There's a lot of cards to go through. Yeah. Like it's hot shot. Well, it's supposed to be half an hour. Um, I'm gonna put down. And then I'm gonna pitch. Pitch the Lich. Seed bananas. Mm -hmm. And then I will go into crypts. Black bananas. Mango. I will go into crypts. Steve turn. Okay, I thought watermelon was done for. There's still a lot of water. Yeah. There's only three. I'm gonna do nice. Summer is double release, double release. So intense. Get some fertilizer and a summer. Not what I wanted. I will plant a dragon fruit. I will release a dragon ducky. There we go. And then go. Double after summer. That stinks, Angela. Angela broke her foot four days into a seven week trip. That was a road trip around the US. <laughs> that sucks. We, um, New York was great. It was awesome. We really enjoyed it. And we really enjoyed that we were going for like a friend who lives there's wedding and not doing touristy things. That was great. We are not touristy people. Did you draw two? Oh, two. 
Yeah, he'd given up on Mickey, so, you know. So he yeah. came back to haunt me. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. Almost like parts of your past coming back, wrecking what you do. When you fight back with your head. Nope. Just like that. Uh, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna do wax apple. And now we're in autumn. Yay. Oh, sunshine. Sunshine. Um, so yeah, New York was great. We we had long, long wedding thingies and helping people with weddings and hanging out and doing wedding things. Um, if you aren't really familiar with the L train, we befriended a bodega cat. <laughs> the uh, the L train was not elevated, unlike the J train, which yeah. we took, which was elevated. Yeah, we took the J train once, twice. Yeah. So yeah. Um. So. Yeah, hospitals are tricky. insane. I think I'm gonna harvest. Okay, so it counts towards the cards, but one gets discarded. Yeah. The bottom, the seed gets discarded. Yeah. Yeah, bye. So yeah. it's important. Yeah. Which one you want. Uh, and then that is all in the world that I am doing. Okay. All right. Uh, I will plant a grape. It's a grape. It's a grape, okay. Uh, and then I will... Release a watermelon, I guess. Ooh. I will draw two cards. Oh no, Peach is done for. What do you think about that, Princess? Uh, I'll be right back. He's long, yes. long weekend. It was good. Uh, it was like a lot of friends, a lot of lot of good food, a lot of plant the peach. Walking. I have blisters. Okay. See the white shoe. Go to the cat. Draw the white shoe. We managed to avoid every Draw major tourist. Sun. Uh oh. Don't have sun. It's the fifth turn. Um, I'm gonna plant a grape, and I will. I'll release a watermelon. And then I draw. Please don't be a sun. It's rain! Yes. Yeah! Um, this kind of is how weather works in real life. Sort of, I guess. I'm going to harvest my mangoes and dragon fruit. That's four mangoes. Five dragon fruit. least. Just there. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to plant a banana. Any good food in Um, yes. Plant the lychee. We went to an Arepas bar, which was really amazing. It was like a block from 20 Sided Store, which is the game store in Brooklyn we went to. Um, it was really, really good. Uh... We went to... Yeah, Caracas was the Arepas bar. And they had all the rum and all the Arepas. Oh, both grapes. Grape, grape, grape. Doing great. That was delicious. I've braved myself into a corner. The rest of the evening was kind of a blur, right? Um, I really liked the place we went last night. The weird Korean but not Korean food place. Yeah. The, the cook staff was, like, not prepared for... For to be open or something, I don't even know. Um, yeah, the restaurant was pretty much dead, and then we rolled in with a group of six, and then we like backed up the whole kitchen. Like the rest of the restaurant was had like two or three other people in it, so I don't know if they were really busy doing other stuff or whatever. But okay, yeah. So this is an interesting one. So I release that, which means that happens, which means that happens, and then I draw back up. So I'm gonna draw back. Yeah, I mean, why not? And it's free. And uh, the banana. Banana. Is that the grape or the pomegranate? Isn't it grape? Yeah. Huh? Where's the grape at the top? Do you want 
Did you ever visit the complete strategist near the Empire State Building? We did not. We we didn't go very far into Manhattan or uptown. We actually never went uptown. We did not go uptown. No. Yeah, we stayed by. We stayed. I think the furthest uptown we got was uh, Ooh, like Chelsea. Chelsea, yeah. And that was it. Like that was the night of the wedding, and we were. Yep. It was late. All right, Steve, draw the rain. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna pitch these two. Okay. Let's see what you get to me. Oh, it's a tree frog! That's cute. As this. And then I can draw. We just went to one game store. We were pretty. It was a. a it was a busy Tip wedding weekend. Oh, I only have three cards. Oh. Don't. Oh, because you probably drew a rain and then forgot to restart. I did. Alright. Do uh, so you want to draw another one? Did you draw off the top? You did. I did. And well, this, matter. no, this was the one that I drew. You sure? Yeah. Because I got a fertilizer. Okay, okay well. Cool. Uh, harvesting. Same. Oh, okay. I did Peaches. <laughs> um, because that was useless. And then I'll do grapes. Grape, 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 grape. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total. I think you got that one. Yep. So, I get the grape birdie. And the grapes is on seven. Uh, and this is discarded. I'm gonna hope my bananas still go. Um, oh. no, I'm done. That's yeah. banana. Oh, you still have a banana market. And I think if we had had more time, but we, I think the most free time we had was the day we walked to complete strategies, and that wasn't even that. Uh, we had like twenty sided store. Twenty sided, yeah. Sorry, we and we had like two hours. That was the most free time we had, and we were staying in Brooklyn, and a lot of the stuff we were doing was in Brooklyn. And to get into Manhattan, it took like half an hour, just like to get to the Manhattan. Right, don't draw rain. I think you might. Do it. I'm safe. Go for it. I do not know. Uh, banana. And then I will do a dragon fruit. Oops, is that what I need to like? Yes. Dragon fruit. And then I draw. Oh. We're into winter. I don't know. This game is gonna end. Hello, grapes. I'm gonna do. Can you just completely fill a field with fertilizer? I guess you could. Yeah. As long as the seed is sown. Sorry. You won't get any points for it though, because it's a thing. Yeah. That's exactly it. You won't get the eight points for having the most, but you right. won't get. They're, points. they're dead, I guess. Are you? Hey, Wagler. Wagler is super bored. Wagley did not do anything, I guess. Okay. He's got a lot this morning. Yeah, we, um, this was definitely not like a vacation trip. Which is fine. We ba we were sort of, um, Steve was a sort of best man for the wedding, so we were pretty involved. 90 people. In Manhattan, and nobody had a car, <laughs> so yeah, lots of taxis, lots of subway, so lots of fun stuff. Yeah, yeah it was lots of Tip alternate turn. transportation methods. Yep, I'm gonna do strawberry, and then I will draw these two dragon fruits. Hi, uh, hello, you two. Oh, geez. Hey, no, boy. Okay. I mean, I'm just gonna put that in. I still have my Luchi. Wow. Okay, then. Okay. Whoa! What's oh, the no! Sun? Oh, it's the sun. No, it's the sun. Okay. Oh! Yeah. The rain. Uh, I'm gonna do... You sun and then it rain. What is this? Oh, it's like six points. You're the Uh, I'm gonna do two dragon fruit. 
and then I will draw a grape so I can only draw one grape. Nuts! Uh, I'm gonna harvest bananas and papaya. Whoa! It's bananas. <laughs> uh, five banana, four papaya. Yeah, people seemed um, confused that the, that the wedding was in New York City and not in upstate New York. I guess is that the thing to do? Because yeah. you can you can do the, the many people wedding. Yeah, you like rent out a bread and breakfast or something. People can fly into the city and then drive up. It's like a thing. Um, and our friends were like, no, we're just going to stay in our apartment a, and take the subway There's away. a thing where like you discard the seated one and it said it can come back again, but we haven't done anything that uses the discard. Wait, what? What? Why does it say it can come back again? It was... It doesn't come back again. It's gone. Yeah. Used as seed in the discard pile. Oh, so the field card again. Never mind. It was saying once you you don't get any points if you sow the field card. Field cards and seed cards are very similar concepts. Are you done? Oh, I can score my Gucci. So there's that one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it? No, wait, that's eight. Yeah. So these the points. Each card has like those go away. the season that the thing is in. Just for his eight. Yeah. Oh. And they're that's distributed too. Yeah. So it has bigger circles uh, if there's more of them. And then peach. I feel like the small circles is they're just not there. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, peach. That would make sense. Uh, I'm gonna double release grapes. Whoa. To get a fertilizer. To get that. Super wild. I want you. The wedding wasn't upstate. It was in Manhattan. Yes. Just in Manhattan. It was annoyingly in Manhattan. Sun squarely in Manhattan. Yep. Yep. Very nice, Angela. She just sold two hundred dollars worth of games for everybody to play. Wow. It's pretty good. Tis the season. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna do the the first one. Tis the season. Yeah. I think I'm gonna seed a papaya and then plant a papaya. <sighs> and then plant a papaya. That's the trail. It's a sun. Okay, I'm gonna plant a strawberry and then seed a fertilizer. Uh, and then I will go too. We're running. It, does it end as soon as that runs out? Or oh no, um, we go back. We to finish the round. I'm gonna release. Yeah, no kidding. Let me see, wax off on papaya. Draw some grapes. Uh, he's still here. I oh, know, I released it here. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. got it, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna plant a strawberry. Put a strawberry there. Oh, I have one last card. Because I got rain. And then I got some. Ooh. Oh, sorry. That could change things. So this might be yeah. the last round. This will be the last round. Probably, yes, probably. Because Steve is drawing unless two cards right now. He's drawing three. Unless I decide two. He's drawing two. So that that's the last two. Yeah, so that Does ends. Does it end when the last card is drawn? You ate grapes. This is your last turn. That was your last turn. I ate grapes? Yeah, because you started. No, you still have to draw them. Oh, you're going to have to three things off every turn. No, because it all... Uh, every card that you have down is two points. So Including then, instead, like, it would probably be better if I just didn't plant these and I just harvest it instead. Because if that's my last turn. Yes, it would be better to harvest. So I'm going to do four banana. That banana goes away. I do not get more. And then papaya. I'm just going to papaya and draw a papaya. Okay. I ate grapes. I ate grapes. You ate grapes. Grapes, grapes. It's great that you ate grapes. Um, I will so it's harvest. like, it's hard to get those. I guess I harvest everything. Yeah, why not? Well. Uh, so dragon fruit, I think I steal it. Yep. Because I have six. Yeah, four and six. So. Some seed. I steal the dragon fruit. Rawr. Fertilizer goes back. I go to my discard, and that's there. And then I will harvest this banana. Banana. And I will harvest this strawberry. Strawberry. And I go to my discard. I never did dragon fruit. 
went away from getting it from a while. Who had dragon fruit? Did you have dragon fruit? You had the dragon fruit thing. No, but I think. Oh, did I give you the I dragon think... fruit that's a light? Yeah, light yes. I think so. Okay. So from John! <laughs> so it's like, I mean, I'll. I'll yeah. Alright. So now. Uh, I would probably. Angela, if you have anybody that you could order it to, like Amazon, to their house, and then like have them hold games for you, that would probably be the best idea. Because yeah. it's Target or some other place. No, your turn's done. But it's... Oh. Well, because those two haven't been done yet. Hang on, pause. I harvested, then it was John. John harvested. Wait a minute. Did you harvest? I did, but if that's not my last turn, I'm not going to harvest. If you do anything that triggers cards being drawn, that will be your last turn. Because that will be an equal number of turns. But if oh yeah, there's four there's four more cards left, so they'll be. I don't think there's only two left. Okay, that's fine. There's only two. Four, but it? like, oh, if you draw from here, you'd be fine. You would not trigger end game, and then you would get one more turn. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah. Because it ends it ends with me. Yes. So let's do this. Well, but you don't get a turn. It's you. <laughs> Peachy. Peachy. No, it's, it's okay. It's if I trigger the end of the game, I don't get another turn. So there's no reason to do anything but harvest. Yes. Okay. So I'm planting those two things. And then I'm gonna draw Angela, are you uh, you follow me on Twitter, right? Okay. Steve. DM me on Twitter. Okay. And then this this is what I was doing on my turn. I, I did this and John was like, wait, I want to do my turn over, but that was what I did. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and then you're drawing two cards and ending it? And then, yeah. Draws two cards and ending it. Okay, so I have nothing to do on my turn except for I could sow seeds, which for every seed that I sow would give me two points, I guess. So I will, ooh, I could do, I don't get fire points for that. So if I do, I'm, it doesn't matter. I sow papaya and then I plant papaya. Four points. Yeah, I'm gonna harvest my grapes and pomelos. Yeah, the the fact that there exists a Bob Ross game is. Oh, we haven't streamed that yet. Oh. All right. Uh, cards in hand mean nothing, right? Cards in hand mean nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Almost lost the grape card. Okay, so then um, any leave the if you have stuff in fields. Each card in your field is two points. Um, so just leave it up there, and then you add up the numbers on the cards that you like harvested. And then eight points per little sandy that you have. That's a lot of points. Yeah. That's what I do. It's a high school. Yeah. We are good fruit farmers. We are good at our jobs. Math. <laughs> it's easy. Good for us. They've probably got it. Oh, yeah. I see a lot of cards. Yeah, with those things, too. What'd you get? 124. 106. 125. <gasps> what? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was, that was so yeah. tight. 20, 40, plus 48. That's what you think. There are implications in this game. I had a lot of stuff in this. What are the implications? Like the the thing with the drawing and the things and the stuff. There's stuff that happens. Yeah, I like the... I like the way that works. 106? Cards. That's fun. 106. 106. Yeah, the hey, you don't, you don't get cards. Yep. Yeah, I like the storage area and the supply, and then the fact that like I had a moment where I was like, oh sweet, I want that peach, but I have nothing else to do. Yeah, that was cool. But I was like, oh crud, if I just discard, if I release a card, I make the peach go away, which is awful, and I want the peach. So it, yeah. it's interesting. There's some interesting things that I was not expecting 
to have to think about. Well, and I know I had to think about. I had so. on either one or two turns. If you can only plant one card, you're gonna have to ditch something. Yep. So when the other three cards are something that you want to plant, like getting three of a kind in your hand, if you can't plant, it doesn't matter because you're gonna have to pitch one. Yeah. Exactly. Because you can't. Yeah. But yeah. It's. it's I was like, this is really straightforward, but the implications and like the combos that end up happening as you play the game are very are interesting. I don't know if they're very interesting. But the, we the, have only played once. Yeah, I think as we play more, like this, I think would play into it a lot more because yeah, can anticipate and we would what pay would more attention, yeah. and we would know the distribution of like the points a little exactly. better. I think that this could get like a cutthroat exactly it's fruit cave. Yeah. Very very much about the timing. Yeah. The timing is very important. Um, and I do, again, I really like the insert that they did on this box. So it came with the cards flat packed in the box. Let me just show you the box. And then these were like flat in the area. And then you took them and there's slots in the card and you, in the cardstock and you just slot it in. And now we have card dividers built into the box. So um, we can just tuck cards in and like yeah put the yeah and then we have the four decks for the seasons and there were card there was ones that looked seasonal but I couldn't really figure it out so hmm. I wasn't I'm not worried about it but like I guess oh no you know what I bet we put oh. the fertilizer with the fields that makes sense and this can be spring yeah and then we can have spring summer and winter yeah, and then all of these on the stands go there. Oh, that way they didn't have to make the box the height of the card decks, because they could still be easy to pull out. Yeah, and they don't need to include bags, and it sort of makes the it sort of makes the size of the box a little bit worth it. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's like it. good. Um it's very pretty. It's I kind of would put it in the weight class, um, and the, there's an English rule book and a Chinese rule book, so if you're curious about that. Um, but I think I would put it, where would I put this? In the weight class of like, uh, like an unearth century. I think that it's a bit more approachable for casuals than century and unearth, just from a thematic standpoint, mm. depending on who, like if you're, if you're playing with like, like, my mom and sister-in-law would be more into this because it's cute yeah. and it's really pretty and it's about growing fruit than Century or Unearth. Like, they would not be into that <laughs> at all. And my brother wouldn't care about any of them. He would just hate draft. But, um, yeah. But that's an outlet. It's hate drafting <laughs> yeah. and aggression. Yeah. So. But I think hate drafting is less of a thing here because you can't really, it's harder to hold on to cards. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's, you have such a small you have to hand. Work hard it's for such it. a detriment to yourself yeah. to not release, to try and time it. So, yeah. It's straightforward. It's cute. And I mean, it says eight and up, but I wonder if that's more of a. I don't know. I mean, there's. I, I think it's one of those. Depends on the kid. Like when you see a when you see an age range, you're like, oh, if it says eight, then that's like, yeah, a six year old that plays a lot of games. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. There we go. But that's that's Harvest Island. Um. And this is an Essen pre-release, right? This so. this is an Essen uh review copy. So this will be coming out at Essen. I believe you actually might already be able to get it in China. Um, but, or Taiwan, I'm not sure where, but this is published by Big Fun, Big Fun, and it was sent to us by the Taiwanese Board Game Development Group, TBD, uh, so thank you very much for sponsoring tonight's stream of Harvest Island, and yeah, you can find, oh, there's shinies, mm, the animals yeah, are yeah. shinies, like the whole box is shiny. Spot UV. Yep, spot UV. Um, Yeah. I like it. I don't know. I one thing I like just because I like things that are Sorry, mechanics yeah. that evoke the theme. But uh, you really had to rush to get your um, winter fields harvested. Like for yeah. the things that were only in winter, or there was one that was uh, I think both summer and winter, but skipped fall. Like right. you have to kind of rush and time that. Whereas if something was one of the spring or summer ones, you can kind of 
yeah. take your time, make sure you have all the cards, mm -hmm. and then it's like, if you want to do strawberries, you're not getting to eight, unless yeah. you've got, like, a handful of fertilizer, and so it has kind of a different feel. Yeah, I just sat on my bananas in the fall. Yeah. It's very comfortable. It reminds me of something, and I can't remember the game, where there was, like, the planting, there's a timing mechanic where you have sets in your hand, and you see so your hand managing the sets, and then you, like, rush to put them down at a certain point to like trick it's like sort of like ttr if you play the way i play which is hoard all of the train or hoard all the train cards you can and then just have several turns where you're just like across the map <laughs> uh but you can't do that because you're so limited by hand size in yeah. this there's another game that's really tight and doing that and it reminds me of that but it's like tighter even than that i can't remember what game that is to sam Juan. No. That's not it. It's fucking tight. Small box game or big box game? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Huh? I'm tired and there's too many games in the world. There are. Yeah. So there's um, too many games. Please make more because there's too many games. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's interesting. It's tight if you like the hand management, set collection, sort of restriction game. Um, this is worth looking into. Uh, yeah. It's quick. Pretty, I think it works for casual. It's pretty straightforward. The ending sort of, it like sped up there at the end. Yeah. We like commented mm -hmm. on like, oh, there's a lot of cards. And then like. All of a sudden. Yep. Yep. Four rounds and later, it was out. It felt pretty easy to teach. Like, I think that's one of the things I would not feel apprehensive about trying to teach it, especially to like more casual or newer people. Because it's. Yeah. Like, there's a couple moving parts, but. Yeah. It's kind of straightforward. I think it's a game that personally I would be down to play, and I would teach. Like if somebody was like, "Oh yeah, I just got this, I want to play it," I'd be like, "Sweet, yeah, I can teach it. Let's play." I don't know if it would, it would be a game where somebody came over and be like, "Oh my god, you have to play this game." Right. I don't know if this is that for us, for me. It's not a you have to play, but it's it's kind of a like, oh, I know just the game. I don't even know if no. it's that for me. Okay. For me personally, I think it falls into the category of like, yeah, I'd play it if somebody wanted to play it and I could teach it to them. Like, maybe they got it and they want to try it and they don't know the rules. Like, I would, I would totally play it. There's other games where, where people, I'm in that situation and I'm like, I'll, yeah, I'll teach you. But, you know, it's like that, yeah, yeah, I'll teach. Grown. Yeah, yeah. That's what Scythe is for me. Yeah, I'll, uh, te I'll teach you. Oh, that yeah, Scythe. sure. Yeah, so. I think it's probably just. I need to design a rating system based on Tiffany's yeah. attitude in, in regards to playing the game. Two is I'll teach it, but not play it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll teach it to you, yeah. and then one away. is I'm not even going to teach it to you. Yeah, I wouldn't even teach you this chaos. Like, what? here's don't a video. Yeah. Yeah. Or a two, a two is like, I'll teach it, but I'm not going to stick around while you're playing. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. want to be involved. I'll yeah. be like four tables over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A three is I'll teach it, and then I'll sit like at the table next to you. Yeah. So if you need help. Yeah. 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 I think, I don't know, I just, I just I like... I should do that Yeah, rating yeah like you, that. you should, with, with short video clips. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, yeah, no, I think, just in terms of the, like, kind of the lighter or more casual fare we played, I think just because I like hand manage set collecty games, mm. like, for me, I would probably rather pull this out over something like Unearth. Not that Unearth is a bad game, but it's just Unearth is nice if you like dice, and this is, like feel bad about the cards in your hand. Sure. You know, and wish you could do something else and plant them. So, I don't know. I, 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 I think I'd it. play on there. Yeah, that's, I I that's totally fair. Yeah. You know, I also like fruit and cards. You love fruit. Steve, if Steve could... i fan, too. If this was yeah. a vegetable game... He wouldn't care. I, I mean, I'm, I'm with you there. The theme totally got me. Oh, man. Yeah. Yep. And this chocolate fruit thing. Have you had that too before? Oh, yeah. It's so good. Oh, yeah. No, oh, I... Oh, my God. Yeah. Roadside lychee. Yeah. It's the best. Yeah. yeah. Alright, well, so we're going to do a bonus stream where we're just going to eat fruit. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get great. all, all 12 of the fruit like, in this game. Yeah, of the game where we're just going to do taste tests of the fruit. Oh. Um, we're not actually, no. Um, I was going to do a bonus unboxing, uh, slash nerding out of alien artifacts. If, if, if you're into that. Sure. Uh, yeah. Nobody knows how to play it at this table yet. Pomelo. No. That was the fruit. Have you had that one? I haven't. But it's like a large, it's probably that big. Wow. Is it like citrusy? Citrus? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye out for that. We could, yeah. Friendly local supermarket. Yeah. We could bonus stream Bob Ross if you're into that. Or mini parts. Or. Both, both 
both of which are games in the same pretty Isn't category. Mini Park is TV. Oh, Isn't it? I think so. I think so. Have we it's it not yet? on the box. No, we haven't streamed it. It was a Gen Con purchase. So, so, so. huh? So so games. I think it's a TVD. Like, but I think we picked it up from P TVD. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, I ordered it at yeah. Gen Con. Yeah. So we could do a mini park stream. It'd be very fast. I keep thinking we've streamed it. I think it's just because we've played it. We've much. played it. Yeah. So, hi Zena. <laughs> um. Yeah. Thoughts, opinions, feelings. Yeah. How you feeling, John? Mini park sounds fun. I think okay. mini, yeah, I think mini park. Mini park is very soothing route building. I don't think I'm, I'm in the scratching. intense move. I don't think I'm, yeah. I don't think I'm in the intense mood to play cutthroat Bob Ross painting. Mm -hmm. I get, Ross, I get Bob really Ross. intense when I play Bob Ross. Yeah. yeah. The whole point's to chill and, and see yeah. doesn't chill. But it's like an interesting hand management palette game. It's very similar to Heart Asylum. Hmm. I feel like it, it, it is very thematically similar to Heart Asylum. Maybe that's the game I was thinking of. Oh, oh maybe I, I like it better than Heart Asylum. You like Bob Ross? Oh, sorry, sorry. I Island? like I like Harvest Island better than I Bob Ross. I was surprised. Bob, well, Bob, this one was had like a very tight flow to it, and things only come out in certain seasons, and you have to time it. And Bob Ross was like, "I hate the cards. I want to draw more." It was that I I was more of that like I'm trying to race you to complete a painting, and I was just angry at the cards the whole time. Uh, whereas this I one, I don't want to play Bob Ross. You're making me want to play Bob Ross. Oh man. Do a cheesy. We could do a cheesy. We'll do a cheesy. Because it's TBD also is doing mini park at Essen, so it's it's relative to Essen. And yeah. then Bob Ross is a recent review, but the mechanic of Bob Ross is very similar to Harvest Island. So I feel like it makes sense to play them mechanically mm. back to back. Mm. Because Sunset Over sure. Water is thematically similar, like very thematically similar, but mechanically Bob Ross is super, yeah. super close to Harvest Island. So yeah, I it's I'm to, I'm torn. All right, let's do the cheesy. Schwazi. 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 All right, uh, Bob Ross. Or no, you're doing Mini Park, and I'm doing Bob Ross. One, two, three. I win. That's not how the game works. Oh, flip it to me. Oh, hey, orange. Ha! <laughs> Bob Ross it is. Bob Ross it is. Okay. Uh, we're going to do the Bob Ross bonus stream. I have to make a thumbnail for that. So it's going to be like five, ten minutes. Um, if you haven't been here before for a bonus stream, just um, hang out. And uh, I got cream. Uh, it's like, no, it's, oh, I broke yeah. it. No, he like swiped the wrong way. There is a limit. Yeah. I think six, six is the limit. Seven. Yeah, five. Five is the max. Oh, um, play Schwazi. Yeah, we're just playing Schwazi now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you can't you can't Schwazi a six player game. Yeah. Uh, so we will stop the stream, shut it down, and then I will go ahead and make a thumbnail for Bob Ross while we pull out Bob Ross and set it up, and then we'll come back. So if you're watching, you can just hang out in the chat. You will be here when uh, the stream comes back on, and we will play Bob Ross, and we'll adjust the cameras so you can see the paintings better. And yeah, so. All right, cool. Um, hang out, and we'll be back for this bonus stream. If you aren't watching live, there will be a link. I never remember the links, let's be honest, to Harvest Island or Bob Ross stream someplace, maybe, if I remember. Um, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this stream. Thank you again, TBD, for sponsoring tonight's episode of Harvest Island. Um, I hope it was helpful for anybody thinking about picking up the game or just learning the game. It's a lot of fun. All right, we'll see you all soon. Cool. See ya.